2023 is our year of flourishing. Praise God. It's our year of flourishing. 2022 is virtually done and dusted. And today we have come to draw the contents on the uh, on on that space of time called 2022, so we can enter another 365 days called 2023. Now, in the last 12 months, a lot has happened in our lives. Yeah. Some good, some not so good, as we heard from the ten various testimonies. For the average person, because some things have not happened yet. That thing which they desired, they simply classify the entire year as bad. No, 2022 has not been entirely a bad year. The fact that some of the things that you desire has not happened. Now, I want to give you some reasons why it has not been entirely a bad year. And I, I like for us to be very, very attentive to these reasons. Number one reason is that you are alive. Praise God. Comrade Jai said a lot of people died this year. You are alive. And the fact that you are alive elicits hope. Because a living dog is better than a dead lion. Praise God. Number two reason why the year can be celebrated is that you are in Christ and you are enjoying His mercies and His grace as a child of God. Praise God. There are people who do not have a relationship with Christ. They have no connection with the, the Lord Jesus Christ. So, you can say that the year wasn't good for them. But you are in Christ. You are born again. You are saved. You are covered by the blood. If you only get to know what actually you get delivered from because of the covering of God over your life, you will celebrate more. Number three, you have a roof over your head. Have you thought about that? You are not homeless. As mundane, as you know, basic as it looks, you are not homeless. Can you imagine not having a house that after the day's activities, you go back from your place of work and you are wondering where you will sleep that night? And most times we are ungrateful for the things that we take for granted. Number four, you have clothing over your body. Do you know that is a problem for some people? There are times that you enter your closet, you are, you are about to come out. You're going to walk or going somewhere. You are trying to choose what to wear. That's a blessing. It is not to be taken for granted. Then number five, throughout 2022, I don't know anybody here who was not fasting but had no food to eat for a particular day. Anybody? You didn't eat, but you were not fasting because there was no food to eat. That's rare, at least from the people I'm looking at right now. So that's a blessing that you should be thankful for every day. Now, how often have you deliberately given thanks to God for these things that we have mentioned? This daily messes. Have we not shown ingratitude to God by taking these blessings for granted? So, we have a life should be thankful because it gives us hope. Life gives us hope that we have one more chance at succeeding. That we have the time of life to try again. Thankfulness. So in a brief moment, with your eyes closed, let's give thanks for these massive blessings we consider small. Massive blessings. Massive blessings that we so much ignore. Life itself. Salvation in Christ Jesus. Health. Housing. Clothing. Food that we eat. Give thanks to God. Give Him thanks. Father, we thank you that we are alive.